Hello, Columbia, and welcome to City View, where we give you an inside view of the city of Columbia. In our top story, Columbia, South Carolina was one of the host cities for the NCAA basketball tournament known as March Madness. Everyone's been so helpful. Everyone we've talked to, they've um, just thanked us that we're, that we're here, um, and the, we've just been welcomed to, to, the, to the city, so we're, we're excited to be here. And we come from a place in the Midwest where people are nice and kind, and I mean, the true Southern hospitality that's felt here, you can definitely feel, and we appreciate that. It's not, they're not, not all places in the U.S. are the same as a place like this, so we are happy to be here and feel very welcomed into the city. Yeah. Well, not only were we buzzing with activity, like the Fun Fest, but also prior to the tournament, an art installation regarding basketball was unveiled in downtown Columbia. We have all kinds of decor that's all over town. We thought that something that, in, that would tie in local artists would be a great way to celebrate. You know, it's something that people, it catches people's eye when they walk by, they take pictures in front of. We just wanted something to uh, really be different and unique and to really showcase um, Columbia, South Carolina and how you know, happy we are to have the tournament here. We want to welcome visitors, but we want locals to be excited as well and to walk by and to know that something special is going on here in Columbia this month. Chief Aubrey D. Jenkins and the Columbia Fire Department once again kicked off the annual MDA Boot Drive to benefit the Muscular Dystrophy Association. We're always excited when this time of year come around where we can do the MDA Boot Drive. Truly, this is something that's near and dear to all of the firefighters here, and we just appreciate the MDA just uh, letting us be a part of them and partnering with us as we go through this boot drive. We cannot do this without the public, so it is a partnership between the MDA, our firefighters, and the public out there. And we also want to thank both council, city, and county council for giving us the ability and allowing us to get out on the streets to collect this money. The city of Columbia is always happy to recognize students who are achieving in the academic field. As part of our Envision Columbia strategic plan, empowering our youth and supporting students is right at the top of our list of priorities. Recently, C-SPAN recognized some excellent students at Richland Northeast High School, and our Mayor Steve Benjamin and Mayor Pro Tem Tamika Isaac Devine were there to join the recognition. You guys are special. Uh, you're, you're doing amazing things and you represent the very best of us and we want to make sure that we, I think everyone here we want to take the time to come here and just make sure you all know how important we think this contribution is not just because it, 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 it shows uh, the incredible abilities that you have but but we live in the greatest democratic nation in the history of the world we do and, and this this nation has been built uh, by by good and strong people and in, in some of the most trying circumstances uh, in order to sustain this country it's going to require a, a, an informed and, and educated and compassionate electorate, young people, uh, each and every one of you. City Manager Teresa Wilson recently participated in Career Day at Harbison West Elementary School. She shared details with students about her career and her daily job duties as a city manager. Catching um, these young people at such an early age to educate them on the imp importance of city services, to be able to touch young people and actually show it to them, let them leave with some goodies to help them remember what we do, I think is really important. Well, once again, City Manager Teresa Wilson has been very busy. She's gone from educating students at the elementary school to now educating and informing some adults as a part of a Leadership South Carolina panel discussion. City staff and our Planning and Development Services Department recently hosted their monthly Lunch with a Planner. We've definitely been able to talk with people who don't usually show up at public events and get their opinion, so it's nice to sit to hear from uh, other people that usually may not uh, uh, always communicate in the, in the normal ways, so we're trying to expand ways to just get out and communicate with people. Community Development was excited to host their annual All Access Workshop, and this year was standing room only. The purpose of the All Access Columbia workshops is to help build capacity and offer uh, technical assistance to neighborhoods to give them training and techniques on how to improve their neighborhoods. And just in time for spring, 
staff in Columbia Water and our Parks and Recreation Departments recently hosted a session and workshop with local partners about how to build a backyard habitat. Native plants that you can plant to attract birds, native plants that you can do to attract bees with the ultimate goal of reducing water usage and reducing stormwater runoff. The City of Columbia is continuing to recover and rebuild after the 2015 historic flood. One of those locations is the Tidal Loan Building, which was recently demolished at 700 Croson Road. City staff in the Flood Recovery Program, Community Development, and Code Enforcement, along with Planning and Development Services and other city departments, have been working diligently to move forward and finally, a grant was received from FEMA in order to move forward with demolishing this property. Well, that wraps up this episode of City View. We'll be bringing you an inside view of the City of Columbia. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to City TV for the latest news and information about the City of Columbia. You can also follow us on our social media platforms on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And always check our website 24 hours a day at ColumbiaSC.net.